Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, and today we're counting down my top 5 favorite Shinsuke Nakamura figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, a Thursday tradition here on the channel where every single Thursday we're counting down my top 5 favorites of something or an occasional top 10. And today we've got Shinsuke Nakamura in my crosshairs and that's who we're doing as our top 5. Now Shinsuke Nakamura has been with the WWE for quite some time. Of course made his name in Japan. A worldwide favorite wrestler for many people from Japan all the way to America and all points in between of course. And Shinsuke for a lot of people they say he hasn't quite got his flowers in the WWE. A lot of people think he has been misused and not used correctly over the years. He's had ups, he's had downs, he's had ups and downs in the action figure department as well. I remember his first Mattel stuff, he came in hot with a defining moment right off the bat. Of course, Bill McKenna, uh, the creator, one of the creators over there at Mattel, huge Nakamura fan, so he, he shoehorned him into the defining moments line. A lot of us kind of scratched our heads, we weren't quite there yet. But once again, you take a look at his worldwide presence, it is a bit of a defining moment is Shinsuke Nakamura being a WWE superstar after so many years being overseas, of course. And then we got Ultimate Editions, we got Retros, we got a ton of Elites, a ton of Basics, Showdown, Battle Packs, you name it, no shortage of Shinsuke Nakamura figures from Mattel. But even going back to the old Chara Pro, the Character Pro figures, and other things from Japan as well. So he's definitely had a lot of figures. And when I was looking at the list of all of his Mattel figures, it's crazy how many figures he's had. A lot more than we kind of remember. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but he's just kind of one of those out of sight, out of mind guys. I know we get figures on a regular basis. But it's not like the Ultimate Warrior or Hulk Hogan. Some of those ones, of course, that I'm paying really close attention to. Uh, we were like, oh my gosh, we got one every other series. But Shinsuke is a sleeper. He's had a lot between all the different Mattel lines over the last couple of years. But of course, we're going to do this countdown like we do all the other countdowns on the channel. We're going to start at number five. We're going to work our way to number one. Number one being the best. Going to ask you guys, put your list in the comments down below. Because this is my list. I want to see your list. Put your list in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's kick it off at number five. Five. All right, we begin the countdown at the number five spot. Number five, I was going by, and I looked at all my Shinsuke figures, and I kind of put my list down. Here's my initial thoughts. Then I kind of slept on it a little bit, and then this one really rose out of the ashes, we'll say, and it did land at number five, where it originally wasn't on my list. But something about it, when I was looking at my collection, it would catch my eye. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to Mattel. We're going to the Mattel Retro line of all places for Shinsuke Nakamura. Not the biggest seller at the time and actually a little bit hard to get when it was first coming out. Kmart seemed to be the sweet spot for this figure, if I remember correctly. Uh, different, Definitely big proportions on this one. As we always know, the retros kind of all over the place with some of the scaling. But I always thought they did a really good job on this figure. That being said, I was never a big fan of the action on this one with that loose leg. Uh, it gives the old kick, of course, but it's just loose 99% of the time on you. That does get a little bit annoying from time to time, but I did like that they gave... Uh, a new interpretation of an old retro Hasbro feature, uh, some playability action we didn't have in the past. So really bringing them to the future in some ways. But I like the open hands on him, like the uh, head sculpt on this one, like the gloss to it, like the red coloring against the black. I always thought this was a very good retro figure. Is it by far my favorite retro figure of all time? Absolutely not. But I thought this one was special enough to include it on this list. That's why it's in at number five. Next up in the number four spot in our Shinsuke Nakamura top five list, we're going to the Elite line. We're going to Mattel Elite Series 63. Yes, Elite 63. And an interesting look here. Of course, always taking a little bit of Michael Jackson feel to him. And I'm going to say it right now. You guys probably know Shinsuke is not my favorite wrestler of all time. He's probably not even close to my top 50, I don't think. I'd have to put the pen to the paper there. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I'm missing some connection a little bit there. But I definitely respect him. I definitely respect his 
his fan base. Uh, but he definitely is a character that a lot of people do love. And there's a lot of internet fans that really, really do love him, of course, as we know. But he always takes so much uh, inspiration. Is that the right word? It seems from Michael Jackson. And now I am by no means a Michael Jackson fan. I don't understand it at all. I just don't. I, I can't. I've heard about everything Michael Jackson. Of course, he was all over MTV as a kid when I was growing up. It was always it was always time to change the channel. Man, when's Headbangers Ball coming on? That's what I was saying when I was a little kid. But just wasn't feeling Michael Jackson. So some of the stuff he takes, some of the movements, and some of the looks maybe doesn't resonate me, with me so much. I don't know. But this is an interesting look here, and it also, once again, feels Michael Jackson inspired. It's one of those things where... Your inspiration starts to take over where you just see him all the time as kind of a Michael Jackson impersonator. I, I don't know if that's the right words, but I hope I kind of made that make a little bit of sense there. But I do like this one because of the soft goods. The soft goods coat on here, it is that pleather style. Of course, you got the Shinsuke hands they made specifically for him. They always do a good job, as far as I'm concerned, on the head sculpts on this as well. And this is one of those sleeper figures. I remember when this first came out, a lot of people were looking for this. It was a little harder to get at first. And we've had a lot of Shinsuke since then, of course. But this one, I think, is a bit of a sleeper one when all things are said and done when you're putting a list like this together. So Shinsuke Nakamura, Elite Series 63, coming in at number four. We've hit the halfway point of the countdown. You got your list together? Put it in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as we got videos every single Thursday doing a countdown of some sorts. But here we are at number three. Number three, once again, we're going to the Elite line. WWE Elite Series 96. I believe this is the most recent Shinsuke figure as of right now. And the reason I put this on here, it's King of Nakamura. So he does get the crown and he's got all white gear. We're so used to him in the blacks and the reds. This one is so striking, so different. Had to be on my list. That's why it arrived here at number three. Love the gold crown. I thought this was part of his peak time. For me, at least, in my fandom or whatever you want to call it, his time with Rick Boogs as a king, that was where he really got on my radar the most as far as his WWE run. I think a lot of people could say the same thing. And I thought that was really working really good. Unfortunately, Boogs got injured at WrestleMania, was out a year, and that kind of just faded away. Now he's back. Uh, he's back uh, wrestling without Boogs, of course, as we do know. But this one feels different. A lot of them feel so similar. This one really stands out because of the all-white, the crown. Just definitely feeling different here, and that's why this one's going to come in at number three in my top five countdown. All right, we've hit the number two spot, dangerously close to the number one spot in our Shinsuke Nakamura countdown. But our number two selection could be a sleeper, could be one that a lot of people forgot about, but I did not. I really fought with this one for one and two, but it did settle in at number two. We're going to the WWE zombie line for the zombie Shinsuke Nakamura. So I talked earlier about Michael Jackson. Just didn't do a whole lot for me. Even back then when I was a little kid, when I was very little, like, I don't know if I was in kindergarten maybe when Thriller came out, maybe preschool. I definitely remember it, and I do remember saying, man, this video is so long, I'd always change the channel, because the video, you knew it was going to take like 20 minutes to get through with commercials on the other end of it. I knew to change the channel, and I'd come back later, and I, of course, seen Thriller like many people did, and it's very iconic, and it is the coolest Michael Jackson thing ever. The werewolf at the end, man, I'm here for that, I'm here for that, that transformation. As a little kid, I never got spooked by things like that. I always loved it, but it was just Michael Jackson, it just wasn't for me, and I've talked about like Tina Turner too, for some reason and uh, just doesn't work with my ears and my brain. I don't know what it was, uh, but Michael Jackson, not a big fan. But I did respect the thriller garb here for Shinsuke Nakamura in this zombie outfit. I thought this was a very cool nod by the Mattel team. No one, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura, nor in his love of Michael Jackson, putting it together in the zombie line, giving an homage to the thriller video, I thought was a very cool idea. I don't know if I would have thought of that myself. I think that was a very, very smart plan. I'd be interested to hear who figured that out, but that was a very cool way to go to market, making this basically the best zombie figure ever. Even for a non-Michael Jackson fan like me, just can't deny how cool this figure is. Uh, definitely all the cool stuff, the red outfit with the tears and the rips in it, the zombie face, a uh, hole on the side of the head, got the bone fingers going on over here. Just a lot to like about this one, and just a cool one-off piece for a collection. Just an awesome Shinsuke Nakamura figure, and that's why it's coming in at number two in my top five list. We got one left. Who is it? Stay tuned. 
We've hit the number one spot in the top five Shinsuke Nakamura countdown. Do you got your list together? Make sure you put it in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We got videos every single Thursday doing a countdown and tons of other content every single week on this very YouTube channel. But number one, I got to think, is on a lot of people's lists is number one. And this is a figure that really felt like it was getting jammed down our throat in a lot of ways. And this figure, really honestly, from where I sat, of course, this table here all those years ago almost killed the line it was in and I'll explain myself but what are we talking about we're talking about Ultimate Edition Series 2 Shinsuke Nakamura now this is a great figure obviously it's number one on my list but I talked earlier about it felt like he wasn't quite ready for an Ultimate Edition quite yet I mean the case could always be argued of course but he came very early in the Ultimate line and a lot of fans out there and a lot of buyers of this at Target stores for example that's where you could get these at retail at the time were turned off by this Shinsuke Shinsuke was not moving he was peg warm and something special we were seeing him all the time on the store pegs and he really did hurt and slowed down that ultimate line at the time at target there was no changing he wasn't selling on clearance it was clogging the pegs up of course charlotte flair was supposed to be the next one and rock they ended up pivoting at mattel those ended up being an amazon exclusive and ringside collectible exclusive because I think they were so backed up at the Target stores, they couldn't get through this. So there was a lot of rumors going around that the Ultimate Edition line, it was just not for the customers. It wasn't going to make it. And uh, we really thought there was a long time with that, uh, was it Finn Balor Triple H? That set came out, didn't do so well either. And there was a lull. And there was a lot of people that were down on the Ultimate line. But then something happened, something turned the page, and things shot off. Now we're getting Ultimate Editions on a fairly regular clip. But honestly, I did think she Shinsuke Nakamura, kind of that Triple H, Finn Balor, Bret Hart era, for whatever reason, those sets didn't resonate out of retail very well, really slowed down things. Ronda Rousey, Ultimate Warrior from Series 1, it's hard to believe, but both of those went to clearance and all the targets I hit on a regular basis. Uh, they weren't moving. It's just, I don't know if it was that new price point or what, but the Ultimate Edition line definitely had a slow start. But Mattel, smart, stuck with it, and now we're off to the races. We're getting Ultimates on, uh, it seems every time we turn around there's a new Ultimate or an Ultimate exclusive somewhere but this Shinsuke was one of the early adapters to the ultimate line talked about Bill being a huge Shinsuke fan makes a lot of sense to me I know if I worked over there I'd be like what about what if we do an ultimate warrior in this line what if we put a Terry Funk hey guys I got a great idea ultimate warrior in every set uh, that's probably why they'd never hire me over at Mattel but uh, I don't know if I'd be that crazy but maybe maybe uh, but this Shinsuke still is very good all the articulation bells and whistles with the ultimate edition multiple heads of course the outfits here there's a lot to like about this figure. There's no denying as far as all the Shinsuke figures, this is the most complete. This is the one that gives you the most options, things like that. So no question it was going to be number one in my top five list. So there it is. There's my number one figure, the Shinsuke Nakamura Ultimate Edition Series 2. Make sure you put your list in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget about the Patreon, your best way to support the channel and to get early access to all the videos. ProWrestlingTees.com, you can also support the channel. And don't forget to hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Shinsuke Nakamura, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.